Alright. I was just trying to get a little sneak peek of what it kind of looks like. Psyched out, we gon' make it. Show the world that I shine and our greatness. Keep it real, never gon' fake this. Till we make it, till we make it. Taking off, flying high like a spaceship. Take control, take a shot, what you waiting for? Keep it real, never gon' fake this. Till we make it, till we make it. What's up, guys? Today, now let me stop. I'm getting dizzy. Okay, so today, we're going to be working on Gabby, man. Gabby gang here today. We're working on her. We're going to give her a facelift, you know, put the bumper on, make her look right. I still have not painted or done anything to it. So, she got the eyesore on this side, but it ain't that big of a deal. Um, without a bumper, it looks way uglier. So, we're going to put this bumper on here, man, and we're going to get this thing cracking. Um... It should be pretty simple. Uh, I just, to be honest, I just watched a little YouTube video on it. And it, it seems to be pretty simple. Most of the clips that hold it is up top right here. I think this is one of them right here. One. And then all of these little holes in the front. And then same thing on this side, which I might have to rig something up because this side is wrecked on my car. As you can see right there, the frame's all twisted and stuff. They tried to pull it out as best they could. And uh, so I might have to make a zip tie or something. It, it may it may just hold just fine without that, but we'll see. Uh, so yeah, I'm about to complete the look, man, so I could at least drive the car. Because right now, if I drive it the way it is, as you can see, my new fender liners, they'll drag and it'll put like it did right there, put a hole in it. So as you can see, I got two of these holding so far. Um, it's not lining up perfect yet. Um, let's just kind of give you a visual. It's not lined, it's lined up perfect on the side, but right here at the top, you can see it's kind of crooked. Um, and this is an OEM bumper. You know, this isn't no aftermarket bumper, no bullshit. This is an OEM bumper. See that right there? This is what I'm working on now. Right now, trying to get the fitment. Um, but, a, a Really, all you have to do is move the headlights. That's all it is. I have to loosen the headlight bolts up, which I'm doing that now. So that's what I'm working on now. That's, I mean, I'm starting to notice like this frame being bent over here. It's really causing a lot of problems on the left side with just different parts, different stuff. So it's a little bit of a task, you know, it's a lot of, it's a lot of fabricating because this side over here is completely stock and intact versus this side over here that pretty much, you know, look like a pretzel. Uh -huh. So that's what I'm working on right now, man. Let's get back to it. I'm trying to get the screw out right here. Try, trying to loosen up the headlight. There we go. That's loose. So it's pretty much one, two three and then you got one on that side on the outside which i didn't loosen that one up at all because that's on the outside i need to push it that way and i don't think that one matters right now so i'm just kind of holding off on that one i might have to get it but we'll see all right let's try this again for the second time or the third time or the, something like that all right Line it up first. Shit. I recommend you do this with somebody else, but that's not my case right now. So, yeah. Once you get one pin in there, you're pretty good though. It'll stand up by itself. Okay, so I decided to do this side first. I'm gonna stay on this side first. So, Pretty much, you just have to line this thing up, and they kind of pop in place, man. I mean, it's pretty much that simple. Oh, excuse me. Hold on, let me get another pin in here, because it's kind of flopping everywhere, and I'd rather it not do that. So here's this side. Come on with that perfect fitment I was just getting. There it is. There it is. And then you just put a screw right here. And that's on there. This is the same thing. You just kind of 
push down and it'll clip in place, but it looks like it's off a little bit. So I'm gonna wait to push down on that. And yeah, man, this is it. All right. So now we're on the problem child side. And what I did was I unloosened the bolt down here, a bolt up here, a bolt right here. And then of course a little zip tie because I'm a little different. So now that I did that, that side's lined up, popped in place. I, I got the headlight when I took those bolts out and made it where the headlight can actually move. You can actually move it. So we should be able to make this fit. All right, so as you see, I got the fitment. I did not catch it on video camera because I was kind of hands-on, but you still see the gap right there, huge gap, huge gap. But I'm about to try to fix that real quick. And I'm just gonna get it as close as possible, bro, and just have to kind of be happy with it. And I do have to realize that this car is wrecked. So anytime something's wrecked and it twists your frame, Nine times out of 10, getting it back perfect is almost impossible. Okay, so I'm trying to put zip ties over here instead of bolts, because now that the, the bumper has straightened the headlight out, the headlight is no longer lining up with the bolt holes so i'm more of a zip tie kind of guy anyways so for me it's like look i'll take a zip tie bro okay i don't want to pull them tight yet until i change this fitment which is just really just a push out, really. Seems to look like it'd be that simple. Huh, and it is. All right, what's up, Gabby Gay? I'm tired as hell. This bumper's kicking my ass. It, it's not hard to get on, but for perfect, to get that perfect fitment, it is. But um, so far, let me show you what I got. I still have to put screws in on the ends to like finish the look. So you're gonna kind of see the fitment kind of messed up on the ends, but everything else is, is there. So this is what we got so far. All right, so as you can see, this is the wrecked side right here. You can see a little bit of a fitment gap right there. But like I said, with my frame looking like a pretzel, I, uh, I'm pretty happy with that. And uh, this is the driver's side that has not been wrecked, but because it has been twisted over there, of course it affects the other side. So, you know, this is the only gap fitment issue that I have on this side. And I tried my best to fit it, to fix it, but wasn't very successful at completely closing the gaps. But I'm satisfied with it. Um, there's a lot of zip ties and, <laughs> and, uh, fabricated bolts <laughs> to make this work but in all in all it is working it is on there it is stable you know secure whatever you want to call it so that's it man this is kind of a a little overview of it oh speaking of those bolts when i said i still had bolts to put in just this bolt right here on the side i have to put that bolt in right let me see if i can get it on camera right in there there's a boat somewhere it's the same thing on the other side i have not installed those yet i'm about to and then i still have to do the bottom part as you can see the um fender liners are hanging i'm just gonna do push pins for those it's be pretty simple but that's pretty much it man um it's on there all right so i got one tab in but the other tabs don't line up of course so i got my handy dandy zip ties baby ain't nothing like some good old zip ties <laughs> out that'd be nice okay so i got two holes left one right here one right here i'm just gonna zip time there you go there's a zip tie right there just like that all right so here's the last zip tie
There you go. Voila. So this one reaches for sure. It's right here. So let's put this one on first. Like so. There you go. First one's on. Start tying this one before we get too tight. And you don't want to make it tight. You just want to hold it. You know what I mean? Because if you make it too tight, you may crack, you know, something. I don't fucking know. As you can see right here, my fitment is somewhat okay. It still keep, kind of keeps popping out for some reason. But there's a screw in here. I got two zip ties down there around the bottom of the fender. You see the fitment right here is okay. I got a zip tie right there. I, I almost had to, like, loosen up both headlights and then fit them to the bumper and then zip tie them down or screw them down in place so this is the only tabs for these is the only ones that's holding it up top and then over here when you move gabby's skirt out the way it's just tragic zip tie zip tie zip a bolt zip tie zip tie zip tie a bolt <laughs> so this this was the hardest side and as you can see i still got some fitment problems. But with the car looking like a pretzel on one side, I'm kind of okay with the fitment. It doesn't look that bad unless you get close up on it. So yeah, thank you for watching, man. This is it. I finally got the bumper on so we can actually drive her. But man, look at that. You can really see the wreck in it now. God damn. The lip in the front, I'm gonna have to look up um, how to deal with that. I really don't know how to make that go away. This is pretty much how, how Gabby's looking right now. She still got a klepto lip, but no problem. You know, the power will make up for the ugliness. I'm gonna keep saying that <laughs> because it is. <laughs> so once again, man, thank you for watching. This is Gabby Gang with the Gabby series, man. G37 Sport Coupe. And we are uh, just that much closer to finishing the project.